All right, today we're going to be unboxing and trying out the manual espresso maker from thedrinkstation.com. You've got the unit here, and then you've got a little instruction card that breaks down the different components of the product as well as the, uh, the instructions on how to use it. So we're going to take this out of the bag here. We're going to set this aside and begin to break down each part. On the end here, you've got a little cover that just comes right off, and that protects the actual housing where the coffee extraction takes place. On the other end here, you've got a screw-off chamber for your water. And then this piece here also screws off. And this is where you're going to access, just pull this piece out, the reservoir for the coffee itself. So inside here is where you'll place the coffee. Again, this is just a, a cover for the end. You've got the water reservoir here. You've got the coffee reservoir here. This is the piece where the extraction goes, takes place. The coffee is going to come out of this end. And you've got the piece in the middle where all the magic happens. You'll notice if you can get in here, you'll see that there's a difference on each side here. On the side where the coffee reservoir attaches and the extraction piece goes on the end, it's going to have that small circle on the inside here. Whereas on the water side, you're going to have these four pieces as well as this little uh, flexible rubber piece there as well. And then on the top, you've got the plunger that says open, close. When you open it, it sticks out and allows you to plunge up and down, pushing the water through to the extraction chamber. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna make some espresso. How about that? So first, we've got some pre-ground coffee here all ready to go. And this is finely ground for espresso. We're just going to go ahead and get this into the coffee reservoir. There we go, let's get that in there. Okay and set that aside and then we've got some water here and bring it up to about 200 degrees luckily that was already heated so we're just reheating it so it won't take very long and while that's heating we'll go ahead and get the top part of the coffee reservoir put back together all right now you'll notice that there are two sides to this each one of them with a small little rubber washer on the outside a little o-ring you're going to take the side that matches the interior of here which is going to be the smaller piece Place that there, then you're going to put the other piece into the circle on the inside there and just gently screw it in place, not too tight, but tight enough. All right. Now, the next part with the water is going to be very important. This looks like it's ready to go already. What you want to do to make sure that your espresso is extra good is you're going to go ahead and prime the reservoir with a little bit of hot water. And we're using uh, natural spring water for this. Um, but you can use whatever kind of water you feel is best for your coffee. Go ahead and prime this a little bit, get it nice and hot, and then we're going to take the cup into which we will extract the espresso later, transfer that water so that way the cup can get primed to accept the espresso. So now we're going to fill this up. I go maybe about three quarters of the way full. Don't go all the way because, uh, frankly, we don't need that much espresso. <laughs> but the other reason is that uh, you want to go a little bit higher with your water than I think you would normally go if you were just measuring the volume of the actual espresso itself, because some of that is going to saturate the, uh, the coffee that's in here. So you're gonna have a little bit of water loss. So once you get the water in there, you're then going to attach that water reservoir to the other end. Okay, that is ready to go. Now we're going to pour out our water that we used to prime the cup, get the cup ready to go. Now all you do is Turn it upside down. You're going to turn this to open it. And then to start the extraction process, you simply press. You can do this a couple times to get the water flowing. And once it starts going through, you're gonna feel a little bit of resistance, but just keep going. It's a workout for the forearms. And then before you know it, as you start to extract your espresso, oh, look at that as it presses through. There we go. And I will put this up a little bit closer to the camera in a moment so you can see the crema. It actually produces crema, which is important for all the folks who like espresso out there, a nice 
crema is very, very much a part of the experience when drinking espresso. Okay, so it looks like we're starting to slow down. And that is a nice cup of espresso. We're gonna go ahead and plunge it one final time, lock it in place, and I'll set this over here. It's gonna bubble a little bit because of the, the pressure that's left behind, that's okay. We'll clean that up in a second. If you can come in here a little bit closer, I'll turn this as much as I can if you can see, I'm not sure, let me get in there. Crim is breaking up a little bit, but you can see it definitely there on the top. And uh, I gotta tell you, I was skeptical at first, but it is actually very good espresso. Obviously the beans have a lot to do with the flavor, but when in a pinch, you've got a manual extraction method that you can use at home to make a great cup of espresso with crema intact. Uh, and you can enjoy espresso by itself. You can make a macchiato if you have a milk frother, cappuccinos and so forth. All right, thank you so much for your time. And uh, if you have any questions, please send us an email through our website, it's thedrinkstation.com, or just pop into one of our locations if you're in the Houston area. We'll be happy to answer any questions you have.